Neo Chronicle. Before I get started into things, just a friendly reminder to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoy it. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with what your thoughts are on this polish. So this week I am swatching ILMP Kings and Queens. This is one of my favourite purples and I, the purple drew me to it. I had to have it. It's one from their older collection. Um, but I haven't done many swatch videos on this channel and it's something I'd like to do a little bit more of so I thought why not start with one of my favorites. This polish is a, a color changes, it shifts in the light, um, it goes more of like a green sort of yeah it's a like green to purple shift which is really cool um, so it makes it really good polish if you're doing Halloween designs or you just want something a little bit more funky or even if you're doing some flowers and you wanted to color the petals in um, with kings and queens it works really well for that it's a really opaque polish um, I did two thin coats and so I'm just doing the first coat here and that's all that was needed it's so it definitely has that advantage compared to some of the other ILMP polishes which tend to not have the opaqueness and require sort of four uh, coats of polish or sometimes I've had one that took five coats of polish which is nuts but sorry for the motorbike in the background if you can hear it um, so yeah this one's really really good so I did only do two coats of polish for it for the base coat I just use uh, OPI start to finish if I'm doing more of their heavy glitter style polishes for IMLP I will use the UNT peel off base coat while I can't do a nice peel off like simply can um, I still makes getting rid of glitter polish a hell of a lot easier and I'm not sitting there for ages trying to get it rid of it and destroying my fingers with all the nail polish remover I need to use. So definitely check that one out if you're struggling with glitter polishes. So I moved on to my second coat and you can see the colour really start to come to life with that second coat. It covers up those spots where towards the bottom of my nail um, where it just wasn't opaque and it just needed that extra bit of thickness to it and it really um, took on its uh, it took on a new life I feel like particularly if you compare sort of my finger that I'm painting now to compare to my pinky it just looks so much more vibrant so definitely go the two coats on this one um, I'd recommend two coats regardless for any polish just for longer longevity and to make sure it uh, doesn't chip as easily as it would with one coat um, after this I left the polish blank. I didn't put any nail stamping or stickers or anything on it. Um, it's just a nice polish on its own. It's a really good one if you're not feeling like doing nail art, which this week I wasn't. I just popped it on and it looks awesome. It picks up the different colours and changes and it just looks really pretty in the light. So I hope you enjoy this uh, swatch video and I hope you enjoyed my review. Let me know in the comments if you've used ILMP or if you've got any other indie brands that you enjoy using. Anyway, until next time, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you then. Bye!